Blackbirds are struggling to stay alive in the United States at the moment. Just days after 5,000 plummeted to their deaths from the Arkansas sky, hundreds of their feathery friends have met a similarly strange end in neighboring Louisiana. And that's uh, pretty common. They, they die pretty quickly, they look okay, then they get ataxic or wobbly and weak, and then they die in a short period of time. The dead bird mystery has also spread to European skies. Residents of Fulsherping, Sweden, found some 100 dead jackdaws lying in the road. Their bodies are being tested to determine the cause of death. Hey YouTube, uh, this is No American Now, and I, I thought I would touch upon the issue of the uh, mass animal deaths that are going on. Um, the uh, red-winged blackbirds that were found by the thousands on New Year's Day uh, seem to have internal injuries uh, on uh, what they call the necropsy, which is uh, an animal autopsy. Uh, and so they have internal injuries, they have blood clots that have formed in their system. Now, if you add the case of the uh, blackbirds with the drumfish, also in Arkansas, uh, the media seems to want to tell us that uh, these things were due to fireworks, or at least the, the blackbird deaths were due to fireworks. And, um, you know, it's just too much of a coincidence. Uh, so I did a little research. The drumfish and the red-winged blackbirds um, both have, uh, at this time of year, uh, the same food source. And they actually share two food sources. Uh, one are mollusks, which are snails and slugs, and the other are insects. And so, uh, you know, as far as the mollusks go, uh, those are filter feeders, and they concentrate water through their system. So any pollutants would build up in their systems, and if you then eat a ton of these, uh, that would build that whatever, that pollutant up into the system. So uh, now as far as the, the insects go, uh, possibilities uh, for it to be a pesticide are pretty great. So it's either a pesticide or... Uh, it is some sort of water contaminant uh, that is being concentrated through the through the shellfish, through the, the mollusks, and uh, and then you know now we're seeing an explosion here. So something's up. Now, you know Arkansas has a lot of hydraulic fracturing going on, and there's a lot of pollution that's generated with that. But they also are a big uh, farming area, so there's a lot of pesticides being uh, used in those areas but you know there's a lot of other theories out there but uh, 300 miles away uh, another string of uh, red-winged blackbirds dead in Louisiana now uh, I'm gonna show you uh, well as you've been looking uh, mass animal deaths around the globe take a look at this folks um, we've got a string of deaths here in the US We've got them down uh, in South America as well. There are deaths being reported in Europe and in Asia. Um, and in New Zealand, there are, uh, a, there's aquatic life uh, dying by the thousands. So there is something going on out there. I'm not sure what it is, but it is uh, it's definitely global. Uh, Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Thursday, January 6th. 2011 and I'm Darko. Welcome to this news bulletin everyone. Uh, new listeners please visit my website at www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. I just watched uh, different videos on the uh, mass bird deaths. Um, try to get all the different information that's out there right now and different theories and possibilities including of course the propaganda and disinformation that's coming to you uh, from the media and the governments and the experts, the scientists. So Hopefully you walk away with this uh, from this video with a little better understanding of what the heck is going on out there in the world. This first one up is from Reuters, mass bird deaths rare, not apocalyptic. So that's the first reason 
And it says here, birds falling out of the sky in the United States and Sweden are freak examples of the kind of mass animal deaths from beached whales to deluges of frogs that have unusual but not apocalyptic causes, experts say. So see, the experts tell us, so then we must just grant that as uh, full 100% truth. Uh, and just because it's not the end of the world, it's all normal and good and everything's okay, right? Okay, so let's see what else. Uh, birds dying in Italy, thousands of turtle doves fall de uh, dead from the sky on Wednesday. Uh, Gia Press reported hundreds, possibly thousands of dead and dying birds in Italy. Countless turtle doves were found scattered in the streets and flower beds and hanging tragically from trees like Christmas balls in the town of Fienza. Many of the birds that fell dead from the sky were discovered with a mysterious blue stain in their beaks. A mysterious blue stain in their beaks. Next one up, 40,000 crabs join slew of animal deaths mysteries. It says here, first it was the birds falling from the skies, then thousands of dead fish washing up in shore. Now more than 40,000 velvet swimming crabs have wound up dead on England beaches. The possible reason? Hypothermia. And it says the shoreline is littered with crabs along with dead starfish, lobsters, sponges, and uh, anemones. So the crabs benefit from warm seas, but when winter hits and snow covers the beaches, they just can't handle the freezing temperature, Tony Child said. And did you like how that veterinarian in the beginning of the video said that, oh, see, this is just normal. Do you notice that they're telling all of us that this is normal? This is, uh, this is very, very odd that people just can't get the goddamn truth. 100,000 drumfish in Arkansas River, more than 100 miles from the site of the bizarre blackbirds' deaths. First, uh, birds dropped dead from the skies. Now, thousands of fish have died in Arkansas. Officials are investigating what may have killed some 100,000 fish in the Arkansas River in the northwestern section of, of the state. Authorities said on month Sunday, deceased freshwater drum littered 20 miles of the river near Ozark, Keith uh, Stevens of the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission told the Daily News, quote, it appears that it could be a disease because it just affected one species. He said, we don't believe it's environmental, all see. It's never environmental, right? Just like when you get cancer, oh, it's genetic, sorry. It's not the chemicals, it's not the, uh, it's not the high fructose corn syrup, it's not the fluoride in the water. It's none of that, don't worry about that. It's, uh... It's not environmental. It's all genetic. So it must be these birds' fault that they're not genetically, you know, uh, better off, right? It says because it would have killed a lot other fish. So, oh, here we go. Ready? It is not uncommon for a disease to kill so many in such a short period of time. Stephen says because the fish are concentrated in the area right now and cold temperatures means it would pass very quickly. So, there you go. Just more lame excuses. Dead birds riddle shifts to Sweden. I just want to put this out there that I don't uh, want to think that this is some end times apocalyptic thing. I don't think that it's that. In fact, I think it's being done environmentally by uh, the powers that be. And uh, it could possibly be uh, something natural. And we'll get into that later as far as the actual North Pole. The magnetic North Pole is changing. And I'll cover that article. So, I mean, it could have something to do with that. Um, we just started the year, and uh, with the new year comes uh, new cosmic energy and all kinds of stuff that goes on in space. So it could be something uh, as simple as that. But I just wanted to throw out that I don't think it's the end of the world, and I, I really think that it's actually scientists, corporations, and government, and all of their little uh, psychological operations that they carry out on the public in order to ma manipulate public opinion. I do think that this is uh, what this is all about. It's about uh, well, you got the whole thing with the Christians, anti-Christian thing going on, and Muslims, the holy war. So they're bringing that up, kind of the doomsday, end times, revelations thing. Uh, and also now the birds and all these dying animals. And also animals attacking. So I think a lot of this is a simulation end times uh, for our Bible thumpers. Uh, or just people that, um, you know, are religious. So uh, we're going to move on. Dead birds riddle shifts to Sweden. A local vet says fireworks are probably to blame for the deaths of dozens of birds which were found lying in a residential street in Sweden days after thousands of birds fell from the sky in the U.S. So said of 50 and 100 jackdaws had died and said parallels have been drawn with the mysterious death of about 3,000 red-winged blackbirds in the U.S. state of Arkansas on New Year's Eve. Moving on here, uh, dozens of jackdaws found dead in Sweden. That's pretty much what we just covered. And uh, dead birds mysteriously appear in Kentucky. A Paducah television news station is reporting that a Gilbertsville, Kentucky woman has found dozens of dead birds in her front yard. And 41 uh, News has learned that it, more birds have found 
near Murray State University. And next up is Louisiana experiences mass bird kill. Blackbirds are having a hard time staying alive in the southeastern U.S. Just days after 3,000 blackbirds fell from the sky in Arkansas, about 500 birds dropped uh, to their deaths in Louisiana, littering a stretch of highway near Baton Rouge. It wasn't clear if the deaths were linked, but such massive wildlife kills are far from uncommon. Louisiana has mass bird kill just days after Arkansas. Uh, dead birds fall from the sky again in Louisiana, 300 miles uh, from Arkansas incident days earlier. And then here's mainstream media, mysterious birds deaths explained. So see, all your answers are going to be explained right here. And it says it wasn't poison, it wasn't lightning, or the end of the world. The thousands of birds found dead on the streets of Baby, Arkansas, New Year's Day were killed by fireworks. So there you go. There's uh, all your answers. That's all you need to know. Just go back to sleep. Arkansas birds fell from the sky after massive trauma. So this is the other excuse, thousands of dead uh, red wing blackbirds fell from the sky in an Arkansas town on New Year's Eve after massive trauma tests by Arkansas veterinary officials concluded on Monday. Some 5,000 birds mysteriously fell from the sky after dark on New Year's Eve, said the birds suffered from acute physical trauma leading to internal hemorrhage and death, said that there's no sign of chronic or infectious disease. So there you go, no sign of chronic or infectious disease. And they're saying that they suffered from acute physical trauma leading to internal hemorrhage and death. So we're looking at cold temperatures, uh, harp type technology, uh, something to chemtrails, or possibly um, pesticides. So uh, there's a lot of different stuff going on out there. Uh, here, Maryland's 2 million dead fish caused by cold water says the death of 2 million fish that washed up on the shores of Chesapeake Bay in Maryland appears to have been caused by a sudden drop in temperature, the state's environmental department told Reuters on Thursday. So, yeah, it must be global warming. Got to always say that. Update dead birds on bridge is a natural occurrence. So, there you go. Uh, it's from Texas. A large number of dead birds spot on Highway 155 bridge near Orr City in Texas is the most likely, I think that's Texas, is likely a natural occurrence in the area. See, a natural occurrence in the area and not related to mysterious bird deaths in Arkansas and Louisiana. So that was the Texas Parks and Wildlife. That's the state. Those they are just fixing the facts for you. Trust them. Fireworks thought to be the likeliest cause of 4,000 blackbird death plunge. So see, the fireworks killed them. Mass bird deaths rare, but not apocalyptic, says the experts. Birds falling out of the sky in the United States and Sweden are freak examples of the kind of mass animal deaths, from beach whales to deluges of frogs that have unusual but not apocalyptic causes, the experts say. So, 10 leading theories for dead birds and fish, mainstream explanations. You have meteor showers, uh, New Madrid fault line. We just got an earthquake here uh, recently, and it wasn't on a fault line. Uh, in the Midwest, government testing, uh, GMO mutation. There in Arkansas, I think Monsanto has a base I was reading about. Uh, geoengineering, that's talking about chemtrailing. HARP of an Alaska, uh, scalar weapons, uh, Project Bluebeam. They also have a HARP type facility. Uh, is it CERN? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but they do have a HARP type facility that tests, um, uh, has similar research in that out in uh, Norway, I believe it is. They're the ones that had that little Halon Collider or something that was shooting out those spiral images in the sky, freaking everybody out. So you just have to remember that. Scholar weapons, scalar weapons, Project Bluebeam, geomagnetic, and other Earth changes. So that's what we were just talking about. Of Earth's magnetic North Pole affects Tampa Airport. This is GDN, and I'm Darko. Thank you.